before we get started, we're gonna turn on the cold water. Oh, we need another tube. <laughs> Distillation is a process used to separate or purify um, a liquid mixture containing two or more components. If the components have boiling points that differ by 40 degrees Celsius or more, then we can use simple distillation apparatus. But if the components have boiling points that are within 25 degrees Celsius of each other, then we must use fractional distillation. So today we're going to be doing a fractional distillation of a mixture of ethanol and water, which have boiling points that are within 25 degrees of each other. So let's look at the apparatus. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have this um, jack set up here because this allows you to move your heating mantle up and down. But the important thing is you can lower um, the heating mantle very quickly if you need to remove the heat right away. Clamp that through the retort stand. The interesting piece of equipment for fractional distillation setup is our column with glass beads. We're going to clamp that in above our flask, and that's going to go between the flask and our still head. And then we're going to attach our condenser with our water tubing already connected. Um, and we're going to secure that with an elastic band. There's a little hoop technique that allows you to secure it to the water tubing, and then you're going to pull it around the column to secure it in place. So an alternate for the elastic bands are these KET clamps. Um, if you have access to those, that's another great resource. Um, we're going to have another retort stand in here just for support of our column. In a similar way, we're going to attach our receiving flask. So we have our elastic hoop on our water tubing. You can wrap that a couple times around to tighten it. We want to make sure that everything is straight, that the column's vertical, in a vertical position. Make sure that our clamp is supporting our condenser in the center. Um, and we want to make sure that our tubes are pointing upwards so that the column completely fills with water. So we have the water connected from the water inlet to the bottom of the condenser and then the top of the condenser um, to the drain. Okay, so the last thing that you want to do is you have to add your thermometer, which is in your thermometer adapter. So what's important is you want your um, thermometer to be right in the middle of between the still head and the condenser. So you will take this one out and adjust it like this, holding it tightly and close. So now that we have our setup how we want it, we can turn on the cold water um, and we have a boiling chip in our uh, flask to prevent um, bubbling over and we are ready to start heating. So the heat is on and we're going to let that heat for a little bit. So once the mixture is heated, the vapor that is first coming off the liquid is going to be our lower boiling point component, and that vapor is going to be in the very bottom of the column. As heating continues, more vapor continues to come off the liquid, and the new vapor mixes with um, the condensation at the bottom of the column, and it forms a new vapor mixture that it moves slightly up the column. And in order to increase efficiency, you can see in our column, we have like glass beads. So the surface of each glass bead acts kind of as a mini distillation setup and so you have many many distillations happening at once so this increases the efficiency. And this process continues so condensation occurs, the vapor mixes, new vapor mixes with the condensation to create a new vapor mixture and then it evaporates further out the column. So when we reach the top of the column the lower boiling point component is going to um, be the first to reach the top of the column and come down our condenser and end up in our receiving flask. So the way the fractional distillation works, um, we have our uh, receiving flask attached with elastic so we can easily remove it when our first fraction, our first component has been isolated. And we can tell because um, ethanol has a boiling point of 78. So once our thermometer reads the temperature above 78, we would expect that the water is starting to come into our fraction. So we would remove this flask 
and add an additional receiving flask to collect our next fraction. Now we have our ethanol collecting in our receiving flask and we're almost ready to switch uh, to fill our next fraction. Very quickly remove our old receiving flask and put the new one on. And we can put that in a beaker. Resecure our new receiving flask with an elastic and continue the fractional distillation process. Okay, so another important thing to note is that the faster you do your distillation, um, you do get a higher throughput in the system, but the separation of your components is not as good. And this is because um, there might not be enough time for each of the beads to establish an equilibrium to get that good separation. So it's very important that you find a good balance between distillation speed and separation of your components. And now we're done, so we can disassemble our fractional distillation setup in the reverse order. And that's fractional distillation.